So I did my undergraduate at Embry-Riddle in Florida and I studied aerospace engineering. I've always been really interested in space and I was looking at graduate programs that were biomedically focused. So here at Purdue there's a great biomedical engineering uh, this Weldon School and also there's this aerospace tradition. Uh, Purdue's known as the cradle of astronauts, so that definitely attracted me uh, to come and be part of this school that has an aerospace tradition, but also has the biomedical uh, school that I wanted to, to study in for my master's. Um, so, High Seas is the Hawaii Space Exploration Analog and Simulation. It's a collaboration with NASA, the University of Hawaii, and other research universities. And they're looking at the psychological, biological, and social impacts of being in isolation and confinement for this long duration of a Mars mission. So this is our High Seas Mission 3 patch. We designed this in the months before our mission began. Um, here you can see that we're one foot on Earth, one foot on Mars. And there were six of us living in the dome. Um, around the edges are our names and also symbols for each of our projects. So here I am and my project is looking at the puzzle of the human being, the stress and how it's related to our behavior and how we interact with our environments. So they have us on a volcano, uh, isolated from the rest of humanity there in Hawaii and just want to see how do our social interactions change over time, how's our psychology, how does this environment impact our team behavior and our individual behavior and health. It's funny that when the doors first closed and we were in the dome, I think we all felt a sigh of relief. We are like, okay, finally we're here and we're going to settle in and stay here. I, I think any transition is always difficult and stressful, so we felt that sigh of relief to finally be settling into our new home. And in fact, even for uh, astronauts going to the International Space Station, they have a similar response in the literature. They show how in the beginning, the first samples are the most elevated stress levels just because of the transition and all of the, the anxiety and things that come with a new uh, journey and new challenge. So life in the dome it really depended on the day, uh, but a normal day we would start out in the morning kind of normal, have breakfast and then get ready for an extravehicular activity or an EVA would be a common thing that we would do in the morning. And those would uh, go out for maybe an hour or so. And then we would have to come back in and do some research tasks depending on the day for the NASA research there. Uh, negotiating tasks or team cohesion tasks to see how we work together and how we weigh our individual interests with our team interests. So those usually took place in the afternoon. We also would make sure that we prepared uh, good meals for each other throughout the week. So that cooking had to be done during the afternoon as well when the sun was out and the brightest and producing the most energy for us. We typically get together for a workout and after that have dinner and some people would then go back to their research in the evenings or we might plan a social activity, watch a movie or a board game. So on Mauna Loa it's an iron rich basalt that's actually very similar to what the terrain is like on Mars. It's this red rocky landscape that can be very difficult to traverse. The ground isn't completely stable, the rocks can move uh, with each of your steps and you have limited mobility in the suit and limited vision uh, as well because of the visor and the glare. So these are the boots that I wore on simulated Mars. They're a very heavy duty design but you can see that just over the course of our mission there was a lot of wear and tear on these boots. And that's because of the volcanic terrain. Uh, the rocks are very sharp, almost crystal-like, and they can just cut into the sole and the, the sidings of even these very heavy-duty boots. So, I think what I'll remember the most is how it felt to be on the extravehicular activities or the EVAs. Uh, my first time wearing our best simulant, the uh, white MXC suit. It's a 50 pound suit, so it's really heavy and it was one of the longer EVAs, so I was out for like two and a half hours in the suit. It was just very physically challenging. It became very hot and um, you have to 
calm down and keep yourself from hyperventilating in, in this situation and then at the same time be as observational as possible, collecting all the data and watching for all of the signs of um, the data that you're collecting about the environment. So it's both a physical and a mental challenge. So that was when we would feel the most like we were really on Mars. Mm -hmm. On a personal note, there is also a lot of things that are memorable to me that are more about how we experienced holidays together as a group. Um, Halloween was in the first weeks of us joining the mission. We entered on October 15th, so uh, that was our first holiday together. And then Christmas also was a very special, uh, fun time for us all. So I have a lot of personal, memorable, um, just meaningful holidays that we experienced together there, but then being outside in the spacesuit was definitely uh, the other more memorable part of the simulation. My advice for anyone who's interested in becoming an astronaut or working in space would be to really find your passion and see where it converges. Um, I've talked to a lot of people who uh, wanted to become astronauts or actually became astronauts and they always just focused on what they love and how it could apply uh, to the application of space. My route is just following my interests and seeing where they lead me. I've studied um, multiple disciplines within engineering and that's another um, good thing for an astronaut to be trained in different fields because you have such a small crew that needs to be able to be self-sustained and, and to understand a lot of different disciplines. To be um, great at something but also to be adaptable and to be able to have uh, multiple functions for your team.